This week we begin under the Lunar Mansion of Barony, bringing a theme this week of social justice. Hello my loves and welcome to this week's Short Insight. If you're new, I'm Kerry ann from Ask a Little Witch and I hope that you all set your intentions from the full moon last week. If you haven't checked out that post, I will link it up in the cards. So this week we begin under the Lunar Mansion of Barony, bringing a theme this week of social justice. Medusa is a fitting symbol for the week beginning under Barony because Barony's deity is the god of death and justice, Yama. But also Kali's energy as well can be felt within this lunar mansion of Barony of which we begin the week under. Now, there's a lot of energy that's going to be building throughout the week leading up to Saturday um, when we have the third quarter square of the moon, which, as you know or you may not know, is a releasing time in preparation for the new moon. So it's a really great time for healing, releasing, removal, that type of a thing. But on the same day as the third quarter square of the moon, which is when the sun squares the moon, um, the moon is also squaring over to Mars, which is obviously still retrograde at this time and then all of that energy of the moon is also going to be in opposition to um, all of that Capricorn energy right tropical Capricorn energy which creates this kind of like grand cross type energy which is going to bring a significant turnabout or a cause for action type of vibe for the week now the theme that I actually feel is most relevant to the week that we're going into is the theme of social justice and death-like type experiences. These types of things I feel like are gonna be heightened. Now I'm not saying that there's gonna be like mass death or anything like that, but death-like experiences, these change and transformational experiences that happen within our own personal lives that really kind of ignite this cause for action right and many of us you know for the first part of life we experience something that then becomes the pivotal kind of pulling point to our purpose and our destiny right something happens it triggers us to want to become or to learn more about something and then we become a pioneer in that area or we end up going into fields that help aid others so that others don't have to experience what we experience at the beginning part of our life something triggers you know the unfolding of our life story and I I feel like I'm not saying that this week is like going to really enhance that but it feels like there's going to be something of significance that is triggered over the course of this week that's going to spur a lot of social justice type things now if we think about it and why I chose Medusa as like the the token or the symbol of the week is Medusa after all was raped by Poseidon and she was actually punished for it And obviously she was punished by, you know, turning men or anybody who gazed upon her to stone, right? And obviously in the eyes of any rape victim, this idea about turning men to stone, right? Looking at it from the the feminine perspective, um, is both a blessing and a curse to have the power to ensure that that circumstance and that situation will never happen again, but also turning your heart to ice, turning it cold to never love right? Having that kind of stripped away, there's going to always be this wound and this scar of distrust and be frozen in a time to kind of recall and remember the violation. And many rape victims kind of go through that. And obviously, like today, you know, if we think about it from modern a modern perspective is, you know, where the victim is blamed in some cultures and dismissed or not believed in other cultures, right? Poseidon is this powerful god. And as with many men in positions of power, you know, some rules really don't apply to them. As we have seen time and time again, that's been kind of unfolding with with the whole Jeffrey Epstein case. Now, obviously, you know, the whole turning to stone, becoming cold, stopping someone in, in someone's tracks and the need to really stand up for justice, right? That, that there's a theme around something being unfair this week and as a result of that beginning it's kind of like bringing an end and changing things to kind of be reborn 
and I definitely feel like there's a significant event, a milestone moment type thing that's likely to bring about this powerful release um, that's going to begin to kind of unfold throughout this week, you know. I feel like there's a powerful presence surrounding those who have been wronged or mistreated and I feel like that's kind of like heightening up, it's like amplifying a little bit more. And if we think about, you know, the counterpart, obviously I mentioned in a previous video about the god Yama, but like if we think about goddess Kali, you know, could be definitely invoked around this time, you know, to help aid you to tear apart the parts that stand in your way. And I feel like there is something that needs to die inside of all of us to unleash our power, to bring transformation and to bring a change about. And what needs to kind of die inside of you? That's something that you have to think about. What internal thing is preventing you from getting the results or whatever it is that you you seek right and it's not even about kind of in a gainful type of a way it's something that's holding you back it's something that is an injustice that's unfair that's you know we kind of tell ourselves these things it could be a limiting belief you know and I feel like it's asking you to kind of merge with your inner sacred fire to kind of burn away and cleanse all that scares you all that keeps you stuck this week you know what do you stand up for you know what is your cause for action what do you believe in you know will you stand with or will you kind of keep silent in fear you know there is this big call and I'd be surprised actually if there isn't but like social justice just some theme around something yeah like social justice and social media is a really great way that we can enhance and bring more awareness to these wrongdoings and to these things that aren't right so that we can right the wrongs and hopefully gain some some headway here but obviously it is the third quarter square of the moon is not always an easy time of a month right we have usually we go through the cycles um but yeah so i feel like this month embodies the qualities the story the mythology of medusa in many ways in many aspects you can take with that what you will um i just wanted to put that out there that's kind of like my vibes of what i'm feeling for the week um three things before you do go um number one if you would like to read your weekly insight for your horoscope you know for your zodiac sign um it's now a love bug perk on my youtube members you can click join below or it's over on patreon as well the same thing love bugs um you get a weekly horoscope that is specific just for patreon members and youtube members number two if you would like to support ask a little witch please do share this video drop a comment like the video like the post um it just lets the algorithms know if you enjoyed it to further make it searchable for other people and finally um for personal sessions with me please check out my services i'll link that up in the cards and in the information box just below the video i'm wishing you all a wonderful week ahead stand up for justice this week i feel like that is the theme and the message behind the week um, much love and thanks for clicking on this video i'm wishing you all well and i will speak to you all soon Bye.